What's up guys, this is Sonny back with another video. So today I would like to show you guys how to overclock a X56 series processor. So I'm talking about X5650, X5660, X5670, X5680 and X5690. So the reason I'm making this video today because some of you are asking me how can I overclock my X5650. Okay, so the old school X5650 processor is different than our uh, new Haswell or the Skylake or the uh, Broadwell or the Haswell Lee processor. Uh, the motherboard chipsets are different. Nowadays, you can overclock a uh, Haswell CPU with one click. Some of the motherboard comes with a built-in overclock option like MSI gaming motherboard. But overclocking a X5650 with the X58 uh, motherboard uh, it's a little different basically you have to do everything manually you have to play around with the voltage and everything and everything has to be perfect and if your setting is not perfect your voltage is not perfect you will be keep crashing and blue screen death and all that so today I want to show you guys how to overclock your x56 series processor so let's just jump into the BIOS and show you guys how to overclock that beast so as you can see we're in the virus right now so first thing what we need to do basically jump into AI tweaker and then as you can see the target CPU frequency 2.9 gigahertz and the target uh, DRM frequency 1066 megahertz so the first thing what we need to do change the AI overclock tuner to manual from auto so if we change to manual that's the only way we can uh, play around with the setting now we have to change the CPU ratio setting now the CPU I have uh, x5670 will go up to 2.4 now your will vary if you have a i7 uh, 920 or maybe 950 you will maybe go up to 21 now exactly I don't know how to explain you it kinda works like a multiplier so you know so next we need to jump into Intel speed step now until st speed step you have to disable and now we can play around with VCLK frequency with that we're just gonna raise the number as like the multiplier we're gonna raise the number and then uh, we can overclock the CPU so as you can see right now target uh, CPU frequency right after I change the setting manual uh, auto to manual and now as you can see is uh, 3100 megahertz now before it was 2.9 gigahertz Okay, so let's just play with BCLK uh, frequency and basically what we're going to do, we're just going to start raising the number and my plan is to go up to 4 gigahertz, okay? So hopefully we can go up to uh, 4 gigahertz and we are not going to raise uh, too much, maybe later on I'll try but for sake of this video I'll just go up to uh, 4 gigahertz and uh, it should be somewhere 175 I think yeah 170 175 uh, 170 no 165 no 167 yes the magic number 4 gigahertz so as you can see right now uh, the VCLK frequency 167 okay so that multiply to 4 gigahertz okay as you can see and also uh, the target DRM frequency went up 1339 MHz so the RAMs I have is a 1066 but I can overclock these RAMs uh, all the way up to I believe uh, 1600 or 1700 so now we don't have to change nothing else here basically so what we're gonna do we're gonna go and play around with the uh, CPU voltage control and we could leave uh, up to 4 gigahertz and uh, just move on we can leave everything else auto okay uh, you can change the uh, RAM from auto to whatever you like I'm thinking I'm just gonna set it up to 1674 I'm not gonna push it so now we jump into CPU voltage control okay as you can see manual now I'm thinking somewhere uh, 1.3 or 1.35 okay so 
you don't want to play around with the ball too much. You want to stay somewhere maybe 1.35, 1.36, max maybe 1.4, but that's just pushing. So raising the CPU bolt will create a lot of temperature okay so make sure you have like a good uh, CPU cooler or maybe a liquid water cooler I have a uh, Cooler Master Hyper T4 now I don't really like that cooler uh, I feel like uh, Hyper uh, 212 is better so what we do basically we'll just go up to maybe 1.3 now if I can't stable with 1.3 then maybe I'll go up to 1.35 but that's about it and also as you can see QPI DRM core bolt uh, you know I left the same as the CPU bolt so you know it's okay now you can play around with the CPU PLL voltage now sometime you don't need to mess around with it so I maybe I'm just gonna leave it alone but you can go with 1.8 and also IOH voltage uh, you can play around with but you don't really need to play around with so CPU PLL voltage you could just leave it auto you don't have to worry about that and uh, make sure the DRM bus bolt uh, make sure you have that uh, set to you know certain voltage uh, whatever you prefer uh, I just like to leave it like 1.5 and that's just perfect and that should be it guys you don't really have to do nothing else and I uh, could just save and exit and uh, your CPU is overclocked okay so now let's just uh, reboot the system and uh, see what happened you know did it crash or went through so let's see right so basically what we'll do, we'll open a uh, CPU ID and see if the overclock that we applied in the BIOS really went through. So I'll show you guys. And also we'll run uh, Cinebench and uh, show you guys the score. So whenever you are overclocking a CPU and you just want to check the overclock is stable or not, basically you can just run the Cinebench and Cinebench will uh, give like a full 100% load to the CPU. Now if your overclock is not stable, your system will crash. So you can definitely check with uh, Cinebench. So as you can see, the core speed is 4 GHz. So it did work, and as you can see, multiply x24. So remember, VIOS, I was telling you guys, the 24, basically, that's the multiplier. Also, the bus speed, 166. And the bold, core bold is 1.288, but we have set it up to 1.3. So let's just run the Cinebench, and uh, I think I need to zoom out. Um, come on, come on, camera. You know, I really wish I had someone who could uh, help me, but, you know, my wife is sleeping right now and um, it's late, so no one here to help me. So, so, let's just, I, let's just run it and, uh, so, as you can see, so that's the stock speed, okay, as you can see, 733, so as you can see, uh, 2.9, for uh, gigahertz that was stock so stock uh, Cinebench score was around uh, 733 okay and let's see with 4 gigahertz uh, you know it's the score let it run all right so I think I need to zoom in again if you guys could see so as you can see with our overclock 4 gigahertz we did gain CPU performance so as you can see CPU uh, performance right now 875 uh, compared to the stock 733 so that's 19% increase so definitely guys let me know what you guys think if you guys have any question let me know if you guys do like my video don't forget to give me a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and also stay tuned for more overclocking videos like this one Peace.